Summertime Blues, written by Caitlin Hardiman. It was a hot summer day, and Floyd was bored. To start his morning, he did some work in the garage with his uncle. Then he played with his dolls, pretended to go to outer space, and read books. He didn't know what else to do. Floyd had the summertime blues. Floyd thought back to the books he read that morning, and he remembered one about being outside in nature. It reminded him of his teacher, Miss Stacy. She had told him to play outside on summer break and use his imagination. Nature is good for you, Miss Stacy had explained. Floyd picked up his nature book and flipped through the pages. He saw pictures of flowers, bees, plants, and trees. He also saw pictures of kids playing outside, making forts with sticks and building sandcastles with sand. Suddenly, Floyd stood up and walked to the window to look around outside. Maybe Miss Stacy was right. Why should I stay inside? Today is the perfect day to go have fun, Floyd whispered to himself. Floyd thought about the fun things he could do for the rest of the day. Just then, as Floyd looked out the window, he noticed a squirrel run by. Next, he saw a bird flying in the sky. Wow, those animals seem to be having a lot of fun, he thought. I want to get a closer look. Floyd told his mom he was going outside, and he skipped through the door to his backyard. Everywhere he looked, he saw interesting animals. Birds, squirrels, butterflies, and dragonflies were enjoying nature right at his fingertips. All of a sudden, he heard a familiar voice. Hi, Floyd. My dad wanted me to find something to do, and he said I could come over to play, said Cuz Cuz. Floyd smiled and gave Cuz Cuz a high five. Thanks for coming over. I just came outside because I couldn't find anything else to do either, he said. Floyd and Cuz Cuz started playing right away. I wish it wasn't so hot outside, said Floyd, but I'm happy you are here. First, the friends decided to build a sand castle in the sandbox. They made the bottom of the castle by putting wet sand in a round cake pan and flipping the pan over. After they finished building, Floyd remembered his mom had asked him to water the plants. He found two watering cans and handed one to Cuz Cuz. Can you help me water the plants? asked Floyd. Sure, exclaimed Cuz Cuz. As Floyd and Cuz Cuz watered the plants, they saw bees sucking the nectar from the flowers. Those bees sure are busy, said Cuz Cuz. Just like us, said Floyd. Did you know that bees have five eyes? I learned that in my nature book this morning. After Floyd and Cuz Cuz finished watering the plants, they decided to play another game. They pretended to be buzzing bees. They imagined that they could fly around the yard and suck the sweet nectar from the flowers. They ran fast and made buzzing noises in between their giggles. Let's take a break, said Cuz Cuz. I'm one tired bee. Me too, gasped Floyd. Worker bees must be tired after a long day of collecting nectar. The good friends found a cool spot under a tree in Floyd's yard. They laid on the grass and looked up at the sky. Floyd and Cuz Cuz were tired from playing outside all afternoon and running around like bees. They both felt happy that they had found something to do on that hot summer day. Wasn't it nice playing outside? asked Cuz Cuz. It was. I had so much fun, replied Floyd. After being outside all afternoon, the two friends were thirsty. Floyd, can we get something to drink? asked Cuz Cuz. I'm as thirsty as a camel. Sure, let's go inside and get a cold drink of water, said Floyd. He led his friend through the door and into the kitchen. The boys enjoyed the cool glass of water. Floyd and Cuz Cuz relaxed at the kitchen table and talked about the fun they had had that day. Do you remember when you stepped on the sand castle and crushed it? That was so funny, Cuz Cuz said. Oops, sorry about that, Floyd laughed. Just then, Floyd had an idea. Cuz Cuz, let's create our own nature books, Floyd suggested. Great idea. That way, we won't forget our special day, replied Cuz Cuz. The boys spent the rest of the afternoon creating books. They used crayons, colored pencils, scissors, glue, and construction paper to make their books. That night before bed, Floyd looked through his book. It put a smile on his face. He thought of Miss Stacy and how she would be proud that he had used his imagination today. He took a boring day and made it a day to remember. The end.